Here is a Norelco toaster range. I picked this up a while ago. I couldn't even tell you where. Probably was the Goodwill, I guess. And this is one of those things that I got it and I just never got around to it because I didn't really have a use case for it yet because I didn't have a kitchen. Now that I have a kitchen, I got a use for all the stuff like this. So this will be a good match to my microwave. This is uh, it is wood grain on the sides. It's got a nice chrome finish on the top, which is actually in really good shape, other than some dust, a couple of real minor scratches, and then some sticky spots where the price tag was. But that'll clean up and look really quite nice. You got the little three foot plug on here which is so in good shape it's got that old like it's hard to describe but this cord is a very distinct feel to it. it's a 16 gauge cord but it's like um, it's super malleable it's kind of soft and it's, it's I, I, these cords are on heaters and other things that draw a lot of power from the era um, it's not polarized probably goes back to the 80s I would think Green stuff kind of started to phase out by the time the 90s came around. Although there was plenty of it still, uh, it definitely was on its way out. So uh, it looks like it came with all the stuff that we need to use it and more. Well, probably not more, but it came with quite a few different trays. Uh, we've got just a regular flat tree here which definitely needs some cleaning but it's all things considered it's not too bad um, we have several different baking trays here we got oh I guess maybe is this like this is for catching I don't know there's all I'm not really sure exactly how what the configuration is supposed to be I that would be one option and then I guess that would be another option and then uh, this has a couple different can that be used at different heights? it's kind of confusing it looks like uh, there's an additional peg on the right side here I don't see or feel a hole for an additional peg on the left, so I don't think anything's missing. Huh. Well, maybe there's no way to uh, adjust the height. I don't know. I guess. Or am I putting that in wrong? No, I guess not. Maybe that's the. It's okay. I don't know. It's just kind of weird because let's see if I get a closer shot of it. It sits like that on that side, but then it's just kind of just chilling over there. I don't know. I guess it's fine. It seems plenty sturdy. I don't see why you couldn't just throw that in there like that. I kind of like having this though. This would catch any uh, any dirt that falls. All right, I'm going to take everything out for a moment. Go ahead and turn this on and see see if we have enough electricity left for it. I have uh, all the outside Christmas lights on plus the dishwasher, so we're already eating up a lot of power here. Um, the elements look like they're in pretty good shape. I don't see any reason why it shouldn't work. Looks pretty good. It's relatively clean inside too. Just a little bit of stain that will probably come off. In fact, does this lift out? Nah. The control set is really unique. I've never seen one quite like that. It's got a uh, well, you got the three different settings. You got bake, 
broil and toast. And then this is a, it's like a bar that goes up and down. I'm sure it's a very simple mechanism, but it's kind of unique. And then, uh, I guess to start it, you, you press this in. And then, uh, when you open it up, the bell goes on. So, uh, let's go ahead and plug this thing in. Nothing exploded yet, so that's always good. Let's turn it on. Let's take the door shut first. Oh boy, it's got safety features. That other, that cheap new one, that thing don't care if the door's open or shut, that thing cooks no matter what. Which I, I kind of prefer because when you open the you know, you open it to check on it, you want to make sure that, uh, you, know, you don't want to let all the heat out. Alright, so the element came on. I can feel the heat radiating out of there. That's working correctly. That's glowing red hot. Now, let's change it to, uh, broil to get the top one on. It's starting to heat up. And my camera battery is out. Um, but it's working. I don't know, maybe just toast both of them? Yeah, toast is both of them. I'm gonna shut the lights off for a minute just so you can see it glow. If I can get to it before the battery goes out. Yep, it's working. And then uh, if we open it up, that shuts it off. Oh yeah, it's hot. Alright, that is a good working vintage toaster oven. That's one more item we can replace here and have vintage in the kitchen.